Hello and welcome everybody to the Verdant Growth Daily where we give you the news, tips and tools you need to live echo. My goal is to help put you in the right mindset to live more in line with your values and to change your life to make it more fulfilling, sustainable and balanced with nature. All in just 10 unedited minutes a day. My name's Eugene and this is episode 22. Today, we are going to be talking about something that I've been thinking about for a while, and that is charities and challenges. Charities and challenges. I wanted to create more of more motivation for me to push my YouTube channel more because up till that now I've made videos and I throw them online and, and I put them out there, but I haven't really gone far into actually like promoting my channel and actually going out of my way to make sure that I'm posting it in places and trying to get more subscribers. And that's something that I just need to start doing. So I decided that what I wanted to do is to take on a personal challenge to motivate myself to get more subscribers. So I've offered up myself this challenge. Get to 100 YouTube subscribers. Shouldn't be too hard, should be pretty easy to do, but get to 100 YouTube subscribers. At this point in time, I'm currently sitting around 56 subscribers on YouTube right now. Um, and I wanna, I wanna get that up a bit. Um, I've never done this thinking that eventually I want to be famous or I want to make money from this. I'm, it's not my goal to try to monetize my YouTube channel or to try to um, get money from, from doing this or try to gain fame from doing this. But I do feel like to be more effective, then I need to be reaching out to as many people as I possibly can. I need to be getting my message to as many people as I can. And the best way to do that is by spreading my channel, getting more subscribers and people who like hearing what I have to say and people who want to hear what I have to say. So um, once I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to give myself the reward of a $100 donation to a charity of my choice. Any charity, but I thought, you know what? I like donating money to charities. I want to do something for climate change, just a little bit with my money. So I thought, you know what? Let's let's make this a challenge. Get to 100 subscribers on YouTube, donate $100 to a charity. And so for doing that, I started to kind of look into different charities that are out there. You kind of have to be careful with some charities because some charities can be a little bit shady. They may not do all the things that they promise with the money that you donate. Or sometimes it's just that that company will keep half of the profits or half of your donation for themselves and only half of it actually goes to whatever cause you donated to. So I've been doing some research into some different charities that are reputable. Um, so the ones that I found and the ones that I liked seem to be pretty well vetted and approved by several different organizations. Um, I was looking specifically for places to donate to help fight climate change. So there are a few different categories within that. Green tech, um, environmental activism, climate activism, environmental protection, clean air advocacy. There, there are so many different causes out there fighting climate change. And so finding the one that I wanted to donate to was actually a little bit hard. But if you guys are curious to know which one I'm donating to, stay tuned till the end of the video. Oh, and hit the subscribe button if you're watching me on YouTube because that's the goal of this challenge. If you guys can help get me to 100 subscribers, I'll donate the 100 bucks. I'll donate the 100 bucks and then you will be able to say that you helped me get that $100 into the donation box. So that means that in a way, you helped me pay that $100 to a reputable charity. So let's go into the different charities now. Um, and if any of you guys are actually interested in donating to any of them yourselves, then I'll be sure to include links down below in the description. So be sure to check those out as well. 
So one of the first areas that I started looking into was rainforest protection. There are a lot of charities out there dedicated to protecting the rainforest. One that I found was the Rainforest Coalition at rainforestcoalition.org. They seemed to be really, really good. Uh, basically what they focus on, they focus on reducing emissions due to deforestation and forest degradation in developing countries, right? And they focus on conservation, sustainable management of forests, um, teaching people how to do that, and then enhancing the uh, biodiversity and uh, carbon stocks, the amount of carbon dioxide that they are storing in the forests. So they claim that for every 12 cents that you donate to them, it will avert approximately one metric ton of CO2 over the long term. So that's that's pretty cool. That's that, I thought that was really, really cool. Keep in mind, this is not necessarily directly capturing the CO2 from the air, but by protecting forests from interests that might want to turn it or use it for fossil fuel or oil drilling or for livestock agriculture, we prevent future, uh, future CO2 emissions by protecting the forests. So this is one cause that I thought would be a really, really good one, and it seems to be a very popular one uh, that is used by many different people. There's another one that I also donate to actually every single month. I donate every month to the Rainforest Trust, uh, rainforesttrust.org, and they are a really, really cool rainforest protection uh, charity that what they do is they basically take everybody's money from the donations and they buy land in the rainforest. Basically, when they buy the land, they're obviously doing it to keep land out of the hands of fossil fuel interests or animal agriculture interests. So they be sure, they're always sure to work with locals to be sure that um, they're working with people around and living on the land that they buy to make sure that they are still allowed to use it and that they're using it sustainably and protecting it. So I thought that, that those kinds of causes are always very, very good. So I thought that would be one potential good place to donate to. Another one I thought about was the Climate Emergency Fund. That is at climateemergencyfund.org. And basically, they are focused on climate advocacy, doing like uh, policy, fighting for policy. Basically, what they do is they support the activists, the climate activists out there. So basically, they take the donations and they donate them to places that they see as worthy. Places like 350.org, the Sunrise Movement, and Extinction Rebellion. So if you really want to encourage more uh, climate activism, then this would be the emergency or the donation to give. Next one I thought about was the Clean Air Task Force. That is at CATF.US. Now, these guys are focused more on reducing air pollution from stuff that exists already. So they're working on technologies to reduce the amount of air pollution from coal-fired coal power plants, coal-fired power plants, and helping to advance legislation and regulation of CO2 emissions. So they're trying to fund the development of carbon capture technology and other greenhouse gas uh, reducing technologies. So it, they're one that, you know, if you're a little bit more interested in donating to the technology side and the fighting to reduce current emissions, um, this would be another good one to donate to. They also claim that for every dollar uh, that you donate, that would avert about one metric ton of carbon dioxide. So if you donate a hundred bucks, you can avert around a hundred metric tons of CO2. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the last number that I saw said that uh, your average American emits about 15 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. I think that's right. I'm gonna have to double check that number. But if that is the case, then your hundred bucks gets you for a good few years of uh, six years or so of uh, CO2 emissions. Um, another one, the Clean Energy Innovation Program at the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation. This is a American-based think tank 
Basically, they run the Clean Energy Innovation Program, which is a program that looks into smart, clean energy research and the development of uh, increasing spending in the space of clean energy. Then they also advise policymakers on the best courses of action. So this one is a little bit more of the technology, uh, innovation, and legislation side. So if you want to donate a little bit more to people who are actively uh, helping to propose legislature or develop new technologies that don't already exist and funding those kinds of projects, then that would be the place for you. So now, those are kind of the ones that I was thinking about for the ones that I wanted to donate to for this project. And so let's, let's get into that now. Let's just announce which fund I will donate my $100 to if I can get to 100 subscribers. That is going to be the Climate Emergency Fund. I decided that in America, we have a government now that is committed to fighting climate change. And I don't know how long that's gonna be for. I don't know how long we're gonna have that. It could be four years, could be eight years, could be for the rest of time, I don't know. But I do want to push climate action as much as possible while we still have the chance to do so. So I thought that since I already donate every month to the Rainforest uh, Trust, then I thought, you know what, let's do something a little bit more in terms of climate action. And so I decided that, you know what, my $100, I think this time, is going to go to the Climate Emergency Fund, who will then be able to use those funds to support um, all the activists out there that are out there pushing for climate change uh, policies. So places like Sunrise, uh, Extinction Rebellion, uh, 350.org. I want to support all of those kinds of places to push more policy and more legislation while we still have the chance to do so. Because um, I think that's pretty much the way stuff gets done. You pretty much have to protest and get out there and get out there in numbers to show that we want change. And that's when the government can actually make the changes that we want them to make. So I know it's a hard time right now for everybody during the pandemic, but I would really, really encourage all of you that if you do have the resources, if you have the extra money to donate just a little bit, just any bit helps. Like even if you're just setting up like a recurring, like $5 a month donation to protecting the rainforest, it adds up over time. And for me, I don't even notice it gone. This is how I have always thought of donations like I I don't use like I don't have that much money I don't make a lot of money but even that being said not making a whole lot of money if five dollars were to disappear from my wallet every month I probably wouldn't even notice I'm not gonna die my lifestyle is not going to be affected at all. Nothing is going to change from me losing $5 a month to a donation. So why not do it? If it's something that I'm not even going to notice, if it has such a small impact on my life that I'm not even going to notice it gone, then why not give it to somebody who can use it well and who will use it well? And so this is why I have started to donate to a few different charities. Uh, at this point, I, they're not all environmental focused charities, but I have three charities that I automatically donate to every month. One is for $5, one is for $4, and one is for $2. So I donate $11 a month. It's not a lot, but it makes me feel better. I feel better about that $11 than I would if it would just sit in my bank account, or even if it went into like an investment that I, that I have or something like that. Like I really feel like I'm doing something good and it feels good to donate. And honestly, once you set it up, I haven't even thought about it. I set up all of these charities probably two or three years ago. I never even look at them. I get like a tax report like at the end of the year and that's about it. I never even think about it. And every now and then I'll go to look and be like, wow, I've actually donated more money than I thought. And that always feels pretty good. It always feels pretty good to me to know that 
I did something good with money that I didn't even notice is gone. So thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Oh, I have a few viewers today in chat. Um, Monica is there watching me on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to hit the stop button on this recording. But for any of you guys who are listening that is not live, I would encourage you to go find my YouTube channel and subscribe to me. If you're not subscribed to a podcast or something already, then subscribe to me there as well. Find me on YouTube. Help me get to 100 subscribers so that I can donate this $100 to the charity that I have chosen, which is the Climate Emergency Fund. Really, really excited. Donate that $100. It's going to be awesome. And then also, of course, if you hit that notification button, you're always going to be notified when I go live, which means that you can come on and you can come and talk to me and ask me questions and just come and hang out. I would really, really appreciate everybody just coming to hang out too. I'm usually online, even after I stop the recording, I'm usually still online live on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch, just continuing to chat with people who are around. So if you guys are interested in just coming on and chatting about sustainability, please come on, find me live and let's chat. Let's have a little sustainability chat. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Be sure to find all of my social media links down below in the description box or on the screen. I will also be uh, putting all the links to the donation charity organizations that I talked about today in the description box below. So be sure to check those out as well. If you can, donate a little bit. Donate five bucks. Just give it a shot. See what it feels like. And yeah, thanks guys. I really appreciate everybody tuning in to listen or to watch live. Thank you guys so, so much. Let's get to 100 subscribers, guys. Thanks for watching. Eugene and Verdant Growth, out.